Hi everyone, my name is Good News Sandy and I'm going to walk you through on how to use CodePen. Uh, you're going to be using CodePen for your assignment. So I'm just going to walk you through on how you'll be using it to submit your assignment. So CodePen is an online editor for HTML, CSS and JavaScript for basic programming. Uh, we have other online editors like that. So, but for this, for your assignment, you're going to be submitting your assignment with CodePen. So uh, let's just get started, right? Okay, so first of all, we're just going to make this very basic. So uh, go online, use Google, search for online editor for HTML, CSS, JavaScript. And you should see a list of online editors. You can see CodePen here as number one. I've used CodePen before. That's why it's my number one. You can see HTML, CSS, JavaScript here, online editors. The weekly school also has an online editor, Jess Fido. is also an online editor. So online editors basically just work like VS Code. You don't really have to do all those setups, you know, install and everything. They're just online, you could do the basic work. So I'm going to open my code pane. And for me, I have, I have an account with code pane already. But if you're starting for the first time, I expect that you should sign up. I'm just going to log out that you see what it looks like. Okay, so this is what it should look like if you're signing up for the first time. So you would click here to sign up and you have to register, you could use Twitter, GitHub or Facebook or just your email. Once you have done that, you will be redirected to the, to the dashboard. So for me, since I still have an account, I have an account with them, I'll just go ahead to log in. And I, I, am, I am on my dashboard already. So CodePen is very simple to use. It's very, very simple to use. But what you are seeing here is the work I've done so far. And to get started, you click on pin. No, I'll, I'll go back on that. Click on pin, right? So you can also use CodePen for React for other things too. So this is a view floater. I use this for React and the rest. But as it, since you're just starting out, you click the pin. You can see what we have here. We have uh, an editor for HTML, CSS, JavaScript. And we have this, this is where the, uh, our elements are displayed. This is like the browser where you get to see what you are doing. So it's displayed here. This is a console. We want to do something on the terminal. Want to see console lock something, want to see what's going on on your JavaScript. This is it, right. So this is what the code pane looks like. It's very easy to use. So let's go ahead, let's get started. And very important, remember to, to name your code pane. If not, uh, you, you will lose your work here. Yeah. If you don't save, if you don't set it up with a name, your, your work with a name, a file name, you are definitely going to lose your work. So I'm just going to name my testing. Right, so, and that, that is saved. Right, and um, okay, so just like if you're working on VS Code, you know, if you're using HTML, you do your basic setup, your doc type, you know, just the basic setup for you to be able to use your HTML, for your browser to interpret your HTML. So I believe you, uh, you must have gone through the resources, maybe the Google tutorial or the ones that been dropped for you before the assignment, I trust you must have gone through it. So some of these things won't be a little bit like new to you. So let's have our basic setup. And 
I just press shift, shift one, and have the and I have this snippet showed up. Just like we do it on VS Code, yeah. Shift one and this snippet shows up. And this snippet is just a very uh, detailed, basic snippet that we need to start using our HTML page. I've explained this thing already on what each of these things does, what it stands for, I think on the Google tutorial. These are just basic setups that the, uh, the browser can interpret your HTML. This is the title, the document's name, and every other thing. So to use this, we are going to tap, and this settles in on our code pane. So I'm just going to repeat that again. What did I do? Shift one, and you see the snippet there, and I press tap, and that settles in on my code pane. So you see, I have this ready, and all I need to do is just to go to my body tag. Remember, in HTML, your elements should be in between the body tags. So in between my body tag, I could go ahead to write whatever I want to write there. Oh, so I have to close that div. Actually, I think it would be nice to have a an auto complete. So let's let's see how we can set up our code pane. Just basic setup so that we could enjoy using our code pane. Let's let's go to Google and see what we do. So I'm going to search for auto complete because I don't want to be typing all the tags and be closing it by myself. Auto complete in code pane. Let's let's see. This is how it works, right? If you have any challenge. Go to Google, search for something, search for it. See how you could solve the problem. All right, so this is a documentation on code pane. Let's see, okay, we have always on autocomplete. You can turn on autocomplete in your editor settings. Under editor options, check the autocomplete checkbox. Okay, so it's possible to do that uh, in your editor settings. So. Go to my code pane editor settings. Um, okay, so this is settings. Right, leave set changes that you may not that you may that you may may not be saved. Want to save my changes? So control S. Okay, so it's saved. You could see that the the, uh, there was a warning there to save. It's gone now, what I say. So I could go ahead to do this, go to settings. And I want to set up for autocomplete accounts. Okay. In your editor settings, let's see. So, Editor preference. So I go to editor preference. And that's where it is. Okay, I think it's this and this. Right. So I go to editor preference and editor options. Auto complete. Good. Format on save, very important. Format on save means as you are working, it's saving automatically. It's a very good one. So I've set that up and I think I could just go back to my work. Yeah, your work here. Remember I saved, so I should have it there. Right. So I can continue. And let me try the autocomplete again. Let's see. Okay, yeah, I can see it. Steve, oh, beautiful. Why is it not completing it? Oh, still have the tab the closing tab. Okay, so that is how it works. Um, very, very important. You have to ensure that your uh, elements are, uh, are, it's using the HTML schematics. You have to ensure you follow the structure of HTML schematics. What I mean is that you can't just type div. Maybe you want to design a header. You are using a div for a header. That's not right. We're going to mark you wrong for that. So you have to ensure that your codes 
follows the proper HTML schematics. What that means is that if I want to work on the header, I use the header tag. Very important, you close it. Okay. Right. So basic HTML schematics ensure that you have your main, you have your header, right? Um, just going to do this quickly, right? You have your main, and you have your footer. You have to ensure you're using the right tags, right? For whatever you're doing, you can't just use any tag for anything. Use paragraph where it's necessary. Use the span tag where it's necessary. Use the anchor tag where it's necessary. Use the button where it is necessary. Okay, those, those are the things we are going to look out for. So yeah, so you could just write something here. Though. You could see it's showing right here. Header, main, and footer. Right. So that's how it works. It's 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 easy to use and you are definitely going to enjoy it. Right. So um I think I've I've talked about the major things, the most important things. And uh, so when you are true with your work, you would have to submit your URL. So you can see, so this is how you're going to submit your URL. This, once you copy this, this is where you're going to submit to us. And we can see your, your work, right? Remember to save, I have 29 on save changes. It should be saving automatically. But your work should be saved. Auto saved on. Format on save on. Expect that to be saved automatically. I don't know why. Yeah. Okay, so that's how to use the code pen. Uh, if you have any question regarding this or any question in trying to do your assignment, remember to reach out to, you, to us on Slack. I'm one of the mentors for the front end. And I'm available for any question, right? So that's all to next time we meet again. Bye.